Hello, it's a brand new day, and we're near Mer New Mera Studios. <laughs> I am Yanu, and today we're back with Deliver Us the Moon. Um, last episode, if I remember correctly, we were well. We I can remember that we were on the moon itself in like a little rover-like thing. Um, we found we found our little ace unit that we call Jeffrey. We found his evil counterpart. Um, we named Sandra. We named the evil counterpart Ray. And now... Well, now... <laughs> now we will be activating the monorails, if I am correct. Hey, Jeff. So I think I'm going back to the theater bay. No. Am I? I don't know. Let's go up here where the monorails are. Well, this is the Huygens one. I don't think it's here. Yeah. So let's go check the other side. Um, oh, here's some things. Oh, right, 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 right. I remember. We need to go to this little this little monitor over here. Um, this one over here. F. Diagnose. Copernicus Moon Hub MPT transmitter and receiver online. Connection to MPT network not established. No incoming MPT signal from the Tombo reactor facilities. So that's where we're going. Diagnose MPT at Tombo reactor facility. Monorail to Tombo reactor facility offline. Well, that's not good. Ooh. 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 So many new things. Wow. Whoa. I already explored that area though, so lights aren't gonna help much. But I will do that little hologram thing. Thanks, Sandra. Whoa. That's cool. Watch. Today. Toggle. Today oh sub speech. <gasps> I didn't even notice. The catastrophic events that have unfolded at the Tombo facility have opened our eyes to a truth that cannot be denied. We have lost friends, colleagues. Our fellow colonists gave their lives for a hopeless cause, for a dying planet that we can never sustain. We used to call it home. Our pale blue dot. But the Earth we know today is a withered husk, a shadow of its former self. The MPT chained us to a barren rock. But no more. All of you gathered here are survivors. You're here because you're mankind's strongest, the smartest, the brightest. Together, we will dare to lead. Members greatness. Start a new age of discovery. Like our ancestors, that fateful moment, they first set out to explore new worlds. We can turn back and confine ourselves to a dying planet. Or we can look outward. Now is the time to act. Make your decision and make it now. A new beginning dawns for humanity. And it dawns today. Well, now we got the speech as well. Great, because I never said the speech and kind of felt like it was lacking. But, um, yeah, I don't know if what MacArthur did. I think that was MacArthur, if I remember correctly. I don't know if I like his decision. Um, I can understand it, but I also feel like he just abandoned everyone on Earth, and that's just... Mm -mm. No, no. Um, monorail. Monorail. Oh, wow. Very cool. Let's watch this first. What 
What was that speech all about? MacArthur can't decide this on his own now, can he? Look, we don't call the shots here, okay? Now help me out with this stuff. Put that down, Frank. Don't you know what helium is for? Don't you think it's strange it's here instead of next to the reactor? It's supposed to power. Of course I do. It's just the... Just what? Should we accept everything they say? Do you even realize what the consequences are if we leave while the MPT is offline? What choice do we have? What do we really have to go back to? Floods, dust storms, blazing heat? I'm done. The council's giving us a second chance, and I'm not wasting it. Now, I'm done talking. Just give me a hand. I see. I do see. But what about the people that have to endure the dust storms and everything? Like, you can't really decide for them now. I don't know. If I was a scientist here, I would have not joined Outward. I don't know what I would have done, but I would not have joined Outward. So this is like a weird compartment, you know? Because it's, I don't know, it's, it's like weird. Because <laughs> this, this is like the passenger compartment. Jeffrey, you need to go in that little slaughter room -y. I think, or maybe this one up here. Probably that one. Oh, I can sit in the chair. Am I gonna drive this? I don't think it's like drivable, you know, like I think it just goes in one straight line, but I'm gonna act like I have full control. Hey, little Jeff, let's see where we go. Ooh, sound thing. Disinfecting. No, I think that's the airlock. Sound. This is Sarah Baker, lead engineer at Pearson Space Station. I was sent to investigate the blackout together with station mechanic Rolf Robertson. I was attacked by an AZ unit and lost consciousness. What? The reasons for this attack oh, remain unclear. Right. Seems my expedition partner has left. And I am unable to contact Pearson Space Station or any of the other facilities. I'm going to cross the frontier now, passing Copernicus Outpost 1, to get to Tombo and try to figure out what caused the MPT failure. Whoever finds this, please try to contact me. Alex, end recording. So I think she's talking about Ray. And I remember thinking that she was dead, but apparently she's just unconscious. So I think that was Ray. But that means she went here, so she might still be here. Alive this time. Which is way better than I thought I was gonna find her last time. Come on, Jeff. We're going out of here. We're getting out of here. What am I saying? We're such a new place. Need a code. Got it. Got it. Right, right, right. Little booklet. Wow. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, someone spilled some helium three. Don't know what happened to my boys. That's also locked. So I guess I go downstairs. Whoop. I'm whoop. Oh, you can't go downstairs like that. You usually use the stage to go downstairs. Okay, let's watch it. A bunch of cutscenes in this episode. This is an evacuation. The reactor at Tombo has suffered a critical malfunction. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Whoa, calm down. Who sent you? We're here on official orders of the Lunar Council. The Lunar Council? Frank! Do you see anything strange happening across the MPT network? Mm, I've got nothing out of the ordinary. Tombo seems fine to me. Perhaps you could explain a bit more first. This is for your own safety. The situation will be explained by the council when all colonists arrive at Moon Hub. So, MacArthur calls the shots now, huh? We don't have time for this. Just take them. What? Get your hands off me! Evacuation crew to MacArthur. We're progressing to stage two. Outpost crew and the package are on their way to Moon Hub. We didn't receive any word from the others at Reinhold, though. Good work, Evac. Wait for them to pass Outpost 1. Contact me again when the second evacuation crew arrives. Over and out. So. It seems... 
What did I want to say? I completely lost my train of thought. Um, so yeah, they didn't have to evac. I, it's almost like MacArthur caused the blackout so that um, uh, he couldn't go on outward and like legalize it in a way. I don't know. But this this recording was taken before the last recording we saw. Because this is them like going to that little meeting we watched. And then the Frank and the Irish or something guy was captured here. And then later we see them talking at the train station. This is Pearson Station Engineer Sarah Baker again. I traveled to this outpost from Moonhub, where I was sent to investigate the blackout together with my expedition partner. Still need a code. Moonhub was completely deserted when we arrived, and we were unable to bring the MPT back online. We got separated and lost contact. I'm traveling towards Tombow alone to continue my investigation. The only lead I have is that something has happened at the reactor facility. The entrance to the monorail station here is blocked, so I'll have to find another way to cross the landscape. It's worth a oh. shot. So she she couldn't get the monorail to work. I at least got that. Even though I technically drove all the way over here on that other little car thing, I'm just saying. I guess I can move. Yeah, I can move those again. Do 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 do. Let's look around first before we try solving the puzzle. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh, scan the time. Although she was trained to be a software engineer rather than a hardware mechanic, Sarah has found another way to cross the landscape after changing an abandoned lunar rover's broken tire. However, given the rover's limited range, it's unclear how one could take her... Oh... So see, she would have had the same problem as me, where it doesn't... Oh, manual. Very cool. Um, where it can't go that far, it's out of its range. That's pretty cool that they made that like canon and not just like, oh, you can't go there. It's pretty cool. I like it. I digs. Now I just need to find Sarah. Oh, elevator. No, I climbed down that ladder. The elevator's broken. Okay, let's move this, I guess. I don't really know where, I'm guessing. Uh, why is it not moving? Why is it not moving? What is going on? There we go. There we go. It keeps stopping. Let me first let me first check where I want to go. I oh let's just laser those. Are those too far away? Okay, that's what I need for them. So I can get it close enough, I think, but not Is it gonna be close enough? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, come on, Jeffrey. That way. What's flashlight again? Ah, cool wings. Cool, 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 cool. A lot of things to do. We got a lot of brain power to do. <laughs> ooh, ooh, the code. One eight eight one. One eight eight one. I'm trying to remember that. 1881. 1881. Did that work? Yeah. Oh, I'm back here now. Cool. So now she can come back and put, put like input the code over here for 1881. Okay, okay. I think I can go back now. Uh do -do -do -do. I have to climb up the whole ladder again. That sucks. <laughs> Up we go. Into the unknown. Hey, Jeffrey. You waiting for me? Um, one, eight, eight, one. Is this also gonna work up there? I don't know. I'll check later. I, I think that's like forward. So I think it's fine. Ooh. Hi, Edgar. Everything alright over at Reinhold? You asked me to let you know when MacArthur and Johansson would travel down to Tombow again. They just passed the station and should be at Tombow soon. Hope this helps whatever 
it is you're trying to do, Frank. Frank, that's good, very good. There's a pattern and I'm close to bringing it to light. I just need some final answers. Thanks, Edgar. Okay, Edgar, good luck, Frank. Frank, it's happening. I knew it. Three monorail trains left Tombow. One's heading to Heig headed to Huygens. The other two are going to for Moonhub. The first Moonhub train should arrive at your station soon enough, but the second won't until I get some answers. This is the key, Frank. The key to understanding what the council has been planning for so long. I'm, s I'm close. And then just nothing. I wonder what this code is for. <laughs> uh, is that that? I guess so. Let's go input it at the top then. 1881, you say. One eight eight one. Cool. Open monorail door. Monorail station offline. Perform manual maintenance check. I will do that. Unlock maintenance. Is this the maintenance? No. Is this the maintenance? No. I am not sure if I should go. Oh, it's this door. It's this door over here. Oh, it's a little helmet. Well, with lots of scratches on it. Helium 3. Yeah, we've heard enough about Helium 3. I would think. Ooh, so space suits open. Oh, I, I double clicked it. Whatever. Open and close. That's very suspicious looking. Just saying. Just saying. Ooh. We're playing Simon Says. <laughs> okay, let's listen to this. Evacuation crew to MacArthur. Helium package and Copernicus outpost one personnel have arrived in Moonhub, sir. Evac crew two is still nowhere in sight, though. We've been trying to reach them, but we're getting no response at all. How should we proceed? Seal the door and make your way to Moonhub. Fuel needs to be in place before we arrive with the Tomboy evacuees. Sir, the other crew won't make it in time if I do that. They'll miss the launch. They know what they signed up for. Seal the door, now. Yes, sir. I will fight MacArthur. Physically and emotionally. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's kind of... Kind of sick. Like, what even? Just like, leaving the people there. Like, oh, that's what they signed up for. Um, and then, I'm also starting to realize, I don't think this is Tombo. I think this is like, on its, on your way to Tombo. It's what it seems like, I'm not sure. Whoop. Whoa. I cannot see. Should I open the door or should I do the puzzle as Jeffrey? There's like a little button, can I press the button? <laughs> Nope. <laughs> I'm too weak. I think I need to do this as Jeffrey. Let's see, can can I like interact? Yeah, good. Um So this one's wires will affect one, two, and three. Let's do that. I'm guessing we want all of them blue. So which ones? Oh, but what's like a thick wire? Does it take take it like two levels? Wait, this this one's wires. It only has two wires, two thick ones. Going to two and four. Let let's see what they do. I can just like keep cycling if I don't like the results. No, I think I think it's just normal wires. <laughs> I don't know. Is there anyone that goes to one and four? Yes, this last one. Oh, but that's not going to be correct, though. That one's going to be yellow. Mm. Okay, okay. So let's then... What does this one do? This one goes to 2 and 3. So let's do... Okay, okay, okay. I think I have it. So I'm going to do this one. Then I'm going to do this one. And then I'm going to do the first one twice. Twice. 
Boom. Is that correct? <laughs> it's, it's saving. Did I, did I do a thing? Is the door open now? Yeah, because I can't like go through there as Jeffrey. So I think I did it. I think I did it. Yeah, I can't interact with them either. Cool beans. That was great, guys. I feel so smart. Push the button. Oh no. How did I not realize that was gonna happen? <laughs> um I'm guessing this is where we need to go because it like showed it in the hologram. Not that it's doing anything. Let's go to this one. Maybe it was this one they showed. Just wanna see if it came up there. Anything? Nothing? No. What's over here? Can I just like jump off and go to the main? I don't know. Oh, oxygen. Um, sure. Can I? Okay, I can't. Good. <laughs> I don't want to screw it up by jumping off and then getting stuck and then dying. Where do I go, though? Up here, maybe. Oh, scan. Database. Torn cables. As we're to the outpost, MacArthur squares more orders, sabotage these cables, heavily disrupt the traffic from one base to another to the other, making the, the... Okay, that's great and all, but I need to fix them. Can I fix them? Can I do something here? No. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe something over here? This is like, thrown over. By some strong lad. Okay, I'm gonna get some oxygen. Maybe there's something. Oh, I think I need to press the button. The 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 other thing in here. <laughs> Maybe. No. I don't know. Should I go through this thing again? No. Wait, why don't I what? No incoming MBT signal from the Tomboy facility. That is not really helping. Hmm. I'm probably just missing something. Let's see. Oh, I think I can just continue now. I think I unlocked the station. Okay. I did not know that. But I guess it makes sense. They were talking about this door in the cutscene and everything. Whatever, I got it in the end. <laughs> no need to worry about how long that took. Ooh. Under. Is it underground? Yeah, I think it still counts as a crown. Tombo underground. Underground. Denied. <gasps> Communication with closest base operator offline. Sound. Operator unreliable in Vinyl Crater Base. Sandra, how dare you not allow me to do things? Warning. Combo track locked. Switch tracks to avert fatal collision. Um, I can't. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, flip. Oh no, I didn't see the thing. I didn't. I didn't know that was gonna happen. I did click it, but it was just, just too late. I wasn't expecting that. I thought like it was gonna be like a cutscene where I have to break through it. Lift. Where should I go? Right, right, right. Oh no, I put left. Oh no. Okay, I should focus. <laughs> I'm not focusing. Come on. Just read the prompts and click the prompts. It's easy as that. No big deal. Good, good, good. Good. Very good. Very good. Warning. 
obstruction detected. Switch tracks to avert fatal collision. Oh no, that made me quick. No, no, this is very scary. Oh, F. I did press F. Hey, I pressed F. Oh, that, I think that was supposed to happen, maybe? No, this cutscene's very long. Oh no, see, I did. No, maybe? Was that supposed to happen? I don't know. It doesn't have a long period after it tells you what you need to press. Like, I pressed F as soon as I saw that. Well, I was gonna think break would be S, so I think I pressed S initially, and that might have like instantly told it, oh, I pressed the wrong button, you can't press F anymore. I think that's what happened. Because it's just like listening to what she was gonna say, it's just like, break, oh, so... S is usually break. Oh, I see, so it's like a similar cutscene, but then I actually get the breaks going when it works, I'm guessing. Dude. <laughs> that was crazy. And I sucked at it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, take off that mask, throw up a little bit, we won't judge. Oh, no, don't take off that mask. We don't have oxygen. I don't need that yet. A Reinhold Crater Race, you say. Anything interesting in here? Survive the monorail. All right, I did that. <laughs> what do I have to do? Power the airlock to reach the control center. Sure. No, close it. Just in case I need the oxygen. There's a lot of things to do in here. Not a lot of oxygen to do, I mean. Worn astronaut suits. I don't have time to read that, I'm sorry. I need to survive, but I also need to explore. It's a very complicated system. Oh, break that open. Do 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 do. Oh, I need to get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What, what, what? Oh, these ones didn't break. Break. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here. Oh, lasers again. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Cut all the laser thingies. There we go. Get in there, get in there. Whoa. Let's get some oxygen over here first. There we go. Boom. Take the faulty power thing. And put in a good power thing. I think. I don't know. It's also like an ASE thing there. For Jeffrey. I don't know. Aha. I don't know, Jeffrey, should you do something here as well? Yes, okay. You just do that. What did, what did, what did Jeffrey just do? Okay, you can just like... Can he... F oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So I need to be out here and then let Jeffrey go back in. But he can't go through there. He has to go through here. Or not. I don't have the oxygen. Uh, go through here, go through here, go through here. Should work as well. Okay, 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 okay. Do that. Go back. Walk through these. Oh wait, get the oxygen first. Get the oxygen first. <laughs> very stress, very stress. I am all of this stress. And then turn it back on. Where is it? Uh turn it back on. And airlock. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
That was crazy. That was pure crazy. All right. Let's watch that. Five hours before the black. Any word from evac crew water, MacArthur? Nothing. Communication's dead. What the hell is going on? What, what the... All power in the tracks is off as well. I don't know. Let's be quick. We have to get to Moon Hill with that helium before MacArthur and the evacuees arrive. We'll split up. You get a report on the tracks and look for a way to repower the monorail platforms. I'll find the operator to board the train for evac. Let's go. Wait up. There he is. We do it your six control center. I have eyes on him. Go check on the train. I'll take care of this. Is that Edgar? Edgar is my new favorite character. Just from that one email thread that I read. <laughs> Tea party. Yeah, so basically some of them not not in the right state of mind anymore. To wh whoever reads this, isn't it whomever? I don't know. I'm not a, a, a literary person. Find me. I didn't go crazy like these guys. Sarah. <gasps> Sarah's here. We're gonna see Sarah. It's in games like these where you don't like see other people, where I always wonder, did they go through the effort to make other character models or not? Because like, technically you're not a character model either, you're just a spacesuit, but will we like see Sarah's face, you know? There's a lot going on in here. Okay, let's watch this thing. Hey! Hey you there! A malfunction has occurred at the Tombow facility. We're here to evacuate you to Copernicus Moon Hub. Train got stranded at the station, though. How can we get the track powered again? We're in a rush. Why are you here? It's Edgar. Have you been watching me with that thing? Oh. We're going to the domes. At Huygens. Everyone Colonists, we're here for your safety. Planning. Official orders of the Lunar Council. Especially the Council. Hey, come in. I got bad news. We're not going to get a run-in. Any luck up there? Who's watching me? No, nah, just a nut job. Quit the riddles, old man. How can we get to Moonhop ASAP? If the trains are out, you have to take the Beatles. They'll carry you across. If you get out of the crater at all, of course. The sand's rough out here. Broke a lot of beetle legs trying to cross those. But there's a path. There used to be one. I know it. Driven it many times. The rovers. Get back inside. I found something. Bring the package. Is that the path that Sarah took then? Because she had like found a way to go to Tumbo with a with the beetles apparently. What are these? Exactly, exactly. They can't be for communication. We already have radar had radar communication without them. So I, I I tried to figure it out last time after the video, and I just could not find it. I don't think. I'm not sure if I actually left that in the video, because after like after watching back the video and like trying to figure it out so I can put it in post, I just couldn't find out anything, like nothing. I like I don't know. <laughs> it was like some sort of Mandela effect where I thought I knew these things, and I didn't. I don't know. And these people also don't know. So I am right. <laughs> anything? It all goes here. All the unexplained shipments of materials and helium-3 end up in Copernicus. Why? Oh, it's like a little map -aroony. We're in Reinhold right now. We were in Copernicus Outpost 1 and then in Copernicus before that. Sombo is really far away. Damn. Edgar's hunch. Much like Maria Gonzalez, a fellow survivor of the Huygens, malfunction Reinhold operator Edgar Davis, um, has been looking for answers. His bewildering findings blame Rosa Laverde for the Hygen's cryosleep malfunction and establish a suspicious link between Lunar Council activity and the disappearance of Hedium 3. Not Rosa. Rosa's a good guy, I think. But I do like Edgar. Ooh. 
There's a little car down there again. Diagnose. Unable to connect. Oh, we're gonna have to realign pillars again. Shop. I will do that. Open the bay doors. Oh, that's cool. Except, why are they in the floor? Oh, oh, we're gonna lift that and like put it in the hole and then have a great old time. But I'm guessing we're not gonna do that here. Surface Ops. Push that button. Oh no, then we're gonna lose oxygen. <gasps> There's so much down here. Maybe I shouldn't have opened them. I don't need those yet. Can't be wasting any time. Run. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, there's a thing, but that's gonna take up all my all my oxygen time. So let's take an oxygen. And I can I can always like toggle out and get more oxygen if it starts to get too low. Evac two to evac one come in. I'm gonna toggle out in any. We need to transport the helium to moon hop by rover. Since we're not gonna get the train running before the MPT shuts down. Okay. Oh. I didn't know there was a range to it. Evac 2 to Evac 1 come in. We need to transport the helium to Moon Hop by rover. Since okay. we're not gonna get the train running before wow. the MPT shuts down. That looks so cool. Evac 1 come in. Do you copy? Damn it. <laughs> what are you laughing about? <laughs> I know everything. No more secrets. And all it took was one little switch. That was it all along. Don't mind him. Let's get out of here. I just had to see. See what you were up to. And, and now I know. Just for the fuel. Helium-3. The ticket out of here. You stranded up here? Just leave him. He's not worth it. We've got to go. <laughs> Simply a flake of a switch. And you did the rest. You have no idea what you've got yourself mixed up in. And what you've put at risk. ASDL 30. Don't. Activate crowd control protocol. No! Ah! Edgar. No. Yeah, I know Edgar's crazy. But I also don't care. I am... Um, I, like, I like Edgar. He's cool. What is this thing? Did I read this already? No. Um, stung by a scorpion, they took my map, but I, but only I know the way for the beetle to cross. Cowards. Okay, but how I know how to? Ooh, my oxygen is gonna blow. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Should I go into the truck? Oh, yeah. Do I have oxygen now? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm not doing anything. I see. <laughs> I was like, it's not really moving how I'm pressing right now. To the world I go. So, the thing is now, I don't know the path that they're talking about. Wow, look at the crater. I'm going to this red one because it's red. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know how long this is going to take. Nah, I don't know. I'm guessing this is just the same, like, oh, okay, <laughs> nope. So what do I do then? I didn't like, oh wait, it's red. 
so I probably can't go here yet. That's my mistake, I guess. There's the monorail that I like had to press F on to brake and everything. See, like on this rover, S is for brake. Like my mind just instantly went there. And I was apparently wrong. You think I'm gonna do stuff on these little towers? I don't know. Press the button. Great stuff, great stuff. Can Jeffrey, can you go down there? Well, oh, can you? Oh, you can use the one on the other side, I see. But can you fit through there? Oh, you can. Jeffrey, you're so cool. There we go. Door opened. I like how they have like different little puzzles for each of the towers. So it doesn't feel like it gets repetitive, even though you are like doing the same thing over and over. Well, not, not over and over, like this is the third tower now. So it's not that bad, but like the, the little different puzzles per tower makes it a lot easier. Not a lot easier, like a lot more diverse. Wait, so this one... Oh, do I need to jump over that? What? I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Oh, 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 I did it, I did it, I did it. Great. That's pretty cool. Nice little twist on the fire thing. The heat thing, whatever. Great stuff. Whoa. Hello, Jeffrey. Where do we align you? Oh, just the base. Cool beans. Oh, out of range. Oh, are we gonna use that one as like a middle point? I see. Okay. We're getting a little cutscene or something. Oh, this one's probably already aligned. Oh no. Um, that does not look aligned at all. That is a big problem. Oh! I have another timer that's not knocking the timer. I need to get there in time before the <laughs> before the satellite crashes. No! Go, 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 go. Oh wow, that, that's just like a menacing sound in the background. It's like ticking clock, like... It shouldn't be menacing, but it's very scary. Freaking out. Oh wow, that's how it's gonna fall. Oh, and I need to align quick enough as well. Oh, oh. Come on, no, come on. I need to use the handbrake, I'm forgetting already. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh, ooh, no. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Go, 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 go. I don't have time for this. Ah. Run. Push the button. Go, go, go. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, that's very scary. I'm pretty sure they give you plenty of time, but just enough to keep you on the edge of your seat, which is great. I love it. It's cool. And I'm also. Dying on the inside is very scary. Come on, push the button. Okay, okay, alright. I don't know what I'm gonna do, by the way. Like, how am I gonna fix this? Oh, and just, I think I just. Oh no. I think I need to align it. Do I need to jump? I think I need to jump. Okay. I need to align it before it falls. That's like. The only thing I need to do. I don't think I'm gonna fix this thing from falling. Oh, oh, I didn't see the electricity. Oh no. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We got this, we got this. Climb the ladder. Oh no, I can't climb the ladder directly. Why am I T posing? Why am I T posing? Ah. Skip the heat. I don't care about the heat. Climb, 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 climb. We don't have a lot of time! 
Man, if you screw up like one thing, or like two things, because I screwed up the, the, the stairs, but if you screw up like two things, you're you're screwed. <laughs> Come on. I don't know what is gonna help. Like, if you line it for a second, it's not gonna like. Um, what do you call? What do you call it? It's not gonna keep being aligned. So the, the like power's not gonna stay there. Oh come on! Uh, I can't see. F. Yes, I did it. But the thing's still gonna fall, right? <laughs> like. Or am I understanding this incorrectly? What is happening? Yeah, see, it's, it's still gonna fall. <gasps> it's gonna fall on the, on the beetle. No, no! Oh no, I should have parked better. <laughs> Wait, I was on that. I was, I was up there. Am I okay? I'm okay, okay. Well, somewhat. Jeffrey, help! Jeffrey, help! Jeffrey! No, Jeffrey, don't be sad. Yes! I am alive! But not for long. Like, my oxygen's gonna run out, and my, f my screen is very staticky. Nothing is going well. <laughs> Oh, it's like that other thing from earlier where we were stranded in space, but now we're stranded on the moon. That, like, did nothing for my oxygen. Run. Go, 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 go. I don't see any other oxygen. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I think I'm gonna make it. It's fine. Go. Oh no. Oh no. Dodge. Oh. It's actually a good thing. It gives me oxygen. I told you I was not going to make it without that oxygen. Not believing me. Push the button. Ooh, that was close. That was very, very, very close. Man. Just like a whole bunch of stuff is happening and going wrong. And, uh, this is very cool, by the way. Like, I am enjoying myself a lot. This is a great game. I can't believe you, like, never hear. Like, I'm, I barely heard of this game. I think I saw when this game was, like, teased way back when. And then I just never checked it out again. And then, okay, I'm, I am, I need to do stuff. Get the oxygen. Um, and then I just never checked it again, I guess. And then, yeah, here we are. Now I'm playing it. And the only reason I'm playing it is because I got the um, the Xbox Game Pass. And that has this game on for free. So I was like... And then I saw it and I'm like, wow! I wanted, I've always wanted to play this game. And now I guess here I am playing it. It's just kind of crazy that I never really heard much about it after that. But this is a great, this is an amazing game. I wonder if they've made anything else. Oh, are the rockets leaving Sally? now? Whoa. No, 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 this can't be right. It's Sarah. I can't just leave. The colony will fail without them. And Earth. How could they all be so goddamn selfish? Whoa. What were they thinking? How can they be so... Warning. Tombow reactor failing. Outward protocol in effect. Evacuate all facilities. Yes, I know they evacuated. I know. I know I'm alone. You're not alone. I'm here. Tombo reactor capacity at ten percent. Still going, Alex. We have to go. This is. This would make things right. We could fix this. We can fix this. I. <laughs> Just follow the tracks along the pillars. You'll make it to Tombo. 
We'll make it zero. I'm really hoping she dies, because what am I doing? Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting almost like a cabin fever type thing. Where like, I'm missing people apparently. It's just that hologram, it's like, <gasps> I'll find you. Wait, what? <gasps> Rolf, are we gonna place Rolf now? Oh, is this, no, this isn't Rolf. We came from Earth, like, no, wait. But Rolf wasn't on Earth. Rolf was on the moon. We're not Rolf. Uh-uh. I don't think we're Rolf. But why did it say that, though? But that would make sense why it was, like, chasing after Sarah, but, like... What? <laughs> we're not Rolf. Are we? I really thought we were going to take the rover through the, like, secret path or something. Like, they really hinted at that. And now we're just taking the monorail. I don't know. What is happening? I am so confused. Why are we looking at Earth? Ground control to Fatuna 1. I'm not sure if you're still there. The death storms, they've gotten worse. Everything has. Mm. The solution has to be a tombo. Whether it's the reactor or the MPT transmitter itself, I can't tell. But we're at the end of the line, Wolf. <gasps> we could use some good news down here. I wish I, I could I wish I could help you. What? Oh no, am I going to have to press some buttons again? But like, what? Rolf was there with Sarah, wasn't he? Am I going to press something? I don't know. Guys, <laughs> like what even? So I'm Rolf. Please travel soon. Sandra, are you okay? Did your voice just break, Sandra? Are you becoming a man? Okay, but I like. Ah, oh, I really want to find out more now, but. My time is up. <laughs> like I wanna, I'm gonna end the episode now. Oh, this is horrible. I don't even know how we get out, but we'll have to figure that out in the next episode. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> so, the whole premise of the first episode was actually very accurate. I, I should have been trying to figure out who I was. And I was Rolf all along. But I could swear, like when we were. When when we were like with Ray, we watched that thing where Rolf and Sarah were communicating, and I could I thought that Rolf was there, but oh, you know what? Whoa, I think I understand. So, in that scene, someone was like telling Sarah and Rolf to come back to a ship, although that well, otherwise they wouldn't survive. And, like, I've been wondering, like, why we were on Earth, even though we were colonists, right? So I'm thinking, and then Sarah said something about Rolf left. So Rolf went back, got back in time um, to that ev evacuation thing. He went back to Earth, and they've been trying to, and then, when, like, on their way back, I guess, the MPT shut down. And they've been trying to get back. So it's been like five years since Sarah um Sarah came here, I think. I think it's something something similar to that. And point is, Rolf has been trying to get back 
to find Sarah. <gasps> this is crazy. <laughs> this is... I hope she's alive. Like, man. This game just took like a turn. Like, whoa. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, see you guys next time. I'm having a freak out. I'm going to record the next episode like as soon as I can. Maybe this week somewhere. I don't know, but sure. Oh, man. I need, I need to know more. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Cheers.